Hey everyone, Lowell Frick here. And today we're gonna to take a walk down Flamingo Boulevard. And we're gonna go eastbound here on Flamingo. We're starting here at uh, Cromwell uh, Hotel and Casino. And we are gonna walk down to uh, Cobalt Avenue. And Cobalt Avenue is the area where uh, Tupac Shakur was shot at that intersection. And we're gonna walk uh, this way, take a look at what's all. It's like a long flight for me go until we get to the intersection. As we take a look at the Valley's Hotel, some of their hotel towers there. See to the left of this hotel tower, Valley's is uh, the Paris Hotel. Cosmopolitan and the Bellagio right there. As so we're just taking kind of a leisurely walk here on a on a warm Las Vegas afternoon. It's about 101 right now here in Las Vegas. This is the Port de Cacher area and the valet for uh, the Cromwell. Cromwell parking garage, parking structure.
I'm looking at this sign. And the other day, it's like we saw a news report that said, of all things to Las Vegas, that said short supply and running out was liquor. Stores were running out of it. Uh, liquor stores it's like weren't able to keep a full inventory. How about that, huh? Las Vegas with a shortage of liquor. So anyway, this is a pretty good size uh, liquor store with all kinds of souvenirs and stuff in it. But what I'm coming to look down here as I keep walking is uh, Batista's Italian restaurant. And then on the back side, it was the stage door casino, a small casino back there. But this is a very iconic restaurant here in Las Vegas, Batista's Hole in the Wall. As we take a look here at the at the hours of operation, see the old barrel-looking door, kind of like a speakeasy kind of look. If anybody ever wants to make reservations, there's a telephone number, a 702 area code. Take a look here at the menu. And the prices are all underneath them. As you can see, like for each set of items, the prices are all underneath it. Take a look at all the celebrities, or some of the celebrities here that have uh, kind of graced the restaurant, and I know there's a lot more than that. This this restaurant is so iconic. You know, just like, uh, oh, and I wanted to say, it's like the stage door, it's like uh, Casino is back around the other side there. But it's so iconic that uh, just like the Pepper Mill restaurant. Take a look here at the Weston Hotel. I talked about this in a video once before. Uh, this hotel used to be the Maxim Hotel. It was built in the 70s. And it lasted till I think right around 2000. 
I did it when it the bankruptcy is shut down. And then a bankruptcy trustee came in and reopened up the hotel and the uh, restaurant. No gaming. Until uh, you know, a buyer could be found for it, which happened to be the Weston. Uh, they voted since then. I actually worked here. I helped uh, set up the surveillance uh, for the hotel and, and uh, the, the area, uh, the restaurant area. And uh, as a uh, doing all of that, when the hotel was open before it was sold and the West had bought it, uh, there was a murder in one of the hotel rooms. And uh, it was a, a lady who met a gentleman over at the uh, kind of see through there at the Ellis Island Hotel Casino. And for a price, she invited him back to her room here that was the Maxim. And uh, her boyfriend was actually in the room. And uh, they rolled the guy. Uh, the boyfriend hit the guy that they brought back, you know, multiple times over the head with a, a chair. And the chairs had like chrome arms on them, and it killed the guy. So they went through and, and uh, tried to, uh, they bought bulk trash bags and hid the body under the bed of the room and uh, that's that car she wasn't looking so they hid the body under the bed in trash bags and bought multiple uh, bags of bleach and cleaning supplies and everything trying to get the uh, Try to get all the uh, stating and everything, the blood and stuff up. Of course, that didn't work. So housekeeping went in, and uh, they were going to shampoo the carpet. And they moved the bed and found the body. When the police came to investigate, they had the Las Vegas CSI team come in and do the blood spatter and had everything. And I worked with the CSI here in Las Vegas and uh, went through and uh, found out the times because we had electronic locks in the, uh, in each room. So we looked at the time the people came and entered. I watched multiple hours of uh, surveillance video uh, with the CSI police officer so we could set a pattern of them coming and going. Uh, we caught them coming back with multiple Walmart bags, of, uh, trash bags and bleach and everything. And so I was involved in helping them, kind of helping them build the case against this guy. And, uh, or these two. And uh, then I testified at court, uh, since I was the representative of the hotel, I testified at court on the, uh, the murder charge and everything against her. And she was found guilty first. And then it was like the murder charge against her, case against him. Uh, I did not have to testify because it would have been the same testimony. But yeah, that's my experience with uh, this property and actually working with uh, the CSI, Las Vegas CSI.
So, just an interesting story. And we're standing on the location of where uh, Tupac was shot and killed. We're on the corner of Cobol and Flamingo Road. He was in a lane where this truck is. In fact, right about where this truck is, where this car is. And they pulled up to a stoplight, just like this. And in the next lane, a car pulled up next to him and opened gunfire. And uh, so this is the corner where he was shot and killed, right here on Cobal and Flamingo. As you can see, people have made the uh, memorial. It's like over on this side and across the street of the, uh, of the incident at the times that they were here. Just so the fans and so it's on this uh, pole right here, and then uh, across the street. on all of those lighting poles and, uh, and other things. It's like there's a... Wait. There's more area, although it looks like uh, this first one here, maybe the city tried to uh, they clean it off or whatever. But it was all fans. It's like that left just a little memorial uh, rest in peace and, and uh, third aid of when they were here in Vegas. We'll walk over there and see if uh, if any of those places still have. It's like uh, you know, people's names and, uh, and pay their respects. It's like for Tupac Shakur. Until we get there, it's like across the street there is Ellis Island Casino Hotel and Brewery. That restaurant has some fantastic food in it. Uh, it has three different restaurants that I've eaten in. Uh, it has this atrium here in front. And then there's a Village Pub, which is a uh, local uh, chain of uh, bars here in Las Vegas. They have a restaurant in there. And then there's another one that actually does karaoke in the evenings. So, it's a, it's a pretty cool little, uh, little casino. Unfortunately, they don't let you film it there. It's like we did one day and all we were doing was just looking to film maybe some slot play. And it was uh, shut down. They wouldn't let us film. So. so I can't show you any more than what I'm showing you right now. So you can kind of see on this pole right here, it's a memorial that was created for Tupac and all the names and everything that are on the, uh, on this telephone pole here. And then there's some stuff that's like on, on that pole right there. And then on this telephone pole, it's like uh, a little ways away. There's more uh, where people have uh, left their name and paid their respects.
have a look at everything here. We walked right by that shell station, but uh, it's a shell station with a port of subs at it. We see shell gasoline here in Las Vegas is $4.48 a gallon for a uh, regular unleaded. Pretty crazy. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this video. That's our walk down Flamingo Avenue and had some stories that I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, check out our other videos and uh, hope you find some stuff you like and you'll hit that red subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. And to our subscribers, thank you very much. We appreciate your support. And we appreciate uh, you watching our videos and everything that you do for us. All right, everybody. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, uh, everybody.